Hey guys, there are loads of different types of compounds you need to know. Here is the important stuff you need to know about structure and bonding between simple and ionic compounds. Why is chlorine a gas at room temperature but sodium chloride is a solid? So the first thing we need to look at in this question is what are you actually asking us about? So chlorine gas always is going to be diatomic. There's going to be two bits in there. So you're going to find chlorine as Cl2. And sodium chloride is NaCl. Now, hopefully this is starting to make things a little bit clearer for you because sodium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. So this is going to be an ionic compound. Whereas chlorine gas over here is covalent and it's a small lid one. So it is a simple covalent. Now, now we've interpreted the question, we can actually think about what the difference between a simple covalent compound and a giant ionic compound. So, starting off with a simple covalence, between each molecule we are going to have weak attractions. which means there is not going to be a lot of energy needed to break the attractions. So it is going to have a low boiling point. Sodium chloride, on the other hand, is a giant ionic lattice. It has strong bonds. You could also write that it has a strong electrostatic attraction, and these bonds are in every direction, not just the one that it gave or received the electron from, but everything around it and these strong bonds are between oppositely charged ions and because of these strong bonds a large amount of energy is needed to break the bonds So it is going to have a high boiling point. There we go. What the examiners are looking for if they ask you the difference between a simple covalent and an ionic compound. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you want to say thank you or if you want access to my online classroom priority video requests or to the books I'm publishing, you can pop over to Connos or keep up to date with everything on my website. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. And if you follow me on Twitter or like me on Facebook, you'll get all the updates there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you found this helpful. Anything else you need, any other help you need, just let me know below.